Greetings, suns and moons. We're going to go ahead and get into this reading. If you haven't checked out part one, make sure to do so. We have the two of swords on the fence clarifying the four of coins. This is telling me that someone wanted somebody to stay stuck in this penny, uh, uh, penny pension energy, this financial ruin, okay, they wanted someone to hoard, to be in this energy of, you can't trust anyone. You, yeah. Having to like hold on or hold back. I feel like this person didn't realize that they had a divine counterpart here. That they were in the midst of some trials and tribulations. This person was being burdened by other people's energy, their family members, possibly even adult children. OK, someone else's family, in-laws, things of that sort. There was a whole community of people that this person was being weighed down. They didn't realize that these people had some sort of financial curse on them, some sort of addiction. They had this energy of lack, which put this person in lack. Here we have the empress here. You are manifesting something, but you're also picking up the energy of this person, your divine counterpart, whether if you want to be with them or not, you're picking up the energy of this person's heartbreak, this person's betrayal. You may even be picking up that this person wants to apologize to you. I'm hearing they can't see the forest through the trees. For some of you, this is a higher level soulmate that wants to come towards you and or your divine counterpart. Somebody wants to work with you or work out a situation having to do with something that you invested in with this person or they invested in with family. This person is, is stuck. Somebody is stuck here. They may feel like if they come towards you that you will help them get unstuck. With the seven of coins being here. But clarifying the knight of pentacles is the three of swords. Somebody knows that they kept you waiting too long. This person was healing from a heartbreak, but they also had people helping to keep them in this heartbreak. And I feel like this person wants to apologize Somebody may be trying to heal their finances, heal their heart, okay? But they're still guarded. And this is how these people that are around this person wants them to be. They want them to feel burdened. They want, to, want them to feel like they are not enough or they don't have enough. This is surrounding family, a marriage, Someone could have left home, like a young adult could have left home, but they came back. And when this person came back, something just didn't feel right. Somebody could be having gut issues. I'm, here, I'm hearing leaky gut. Something about somebody's bowels here. There was a lost partnership because someone is not attracted. I've been getting this energy. Somebody's not attracted to the person that they are, have a family with. This person may not have wanted them to be attracted to you. We have the queen of wands over here upside down. So this is telling me that somebody did something, possibly a breakup incantation to have this person not be interested in you, but it ended up reflecting in their own household. This person is not attracted. If they live in a house with this person, they're not attracted to them with the King of Wands being here on the fence and the Two of Cups clarifying it. This is giving me the energy of someone that is going through a divorce, but they still have to live with the person. I feel like there's nothing but arguments here because someone is finding out someone lied and possibly did spell work. They're not attracted to this person. They feel like this person is dull. That they lack create they lack creativity. They can't trust a word that they say. This person may 
bully this king of wands here. And this is why they don't want to be or they feel that way. Why is the four of coins here, please? This is so heavy. Four of coins. Yeah, sleep. This person was possibly trying to save money and somebody in this family group or friend circle knew that this person was trying to save money here to leave a toxic situation. For some of you, you may be in communication with this person. If it's not actual talking, spending time, there's telepathic communication. You may be picking up on the energy of this person not being able to sleep because of some sort of heartbreak. And then as I look down, I see don't lose yourself in love. Seven of coins. I feel like you're, you're very patient in this scenario. You're working hard here. Some of you, you feel stagnant because somebody's holding on to your energy. This person at one time was holding back. Yeah, they're holding on to your light. Discord. Justice will be done. Caution. Move quickly. Action. Follow your heart. So I don't feel like this is you arguing. You may have argued with somebody that you invested time in because you feel like they're keeping you stuck. Now, this could be a family member if that is the case. But somebody's in this energy of exertion. Um, I, don't, I don't want to say aggression, but they feel like something is completed. So they need to move quickly here. This could also be you moving away from conflict. Was that the Three of Swords? It may have been the Three of Swords. Let me just get another one for the Three of Swords. Because this energy is so confusing. Because all of these people... Three of Swords, and this is possibly what somebody wanted. Confusion. Three of Swords. Something could have came out in a heated argument. Command. Don't repeat the same mistakes. So this person was being slowed down. Okay, in the past because of whatever burdens they had financial obligations, family, children, or whatever. They're going back into this cycle. Hopefully it's not you, Empress. Okay. Some of you, you may have allowed family back into your home for whatever reason. But if that's the case here, you're being advised to, be, to, to caution. We, we, you, things need to change in somebody's environment, their perspective here. Somebody's deep in their thoughts about a heartbreak, a separation, Moving slow. They're having anxiety. Somebody, yeah, look at that stagnation. So this person is stopping themselves from coming, from moving forward. Someone wants to apologize to you, but I feel like they don't know what to say. And that's slowing down the process of somebody's manifestation. They may feel like you're going to decline. Yeah, they're indecisive. This person is watching you manifest here. They're scared. This is somebody that has a fear of rejection. They know that they participated in your heartbreak or their family did or your family did. But this person is not quite healed yet. And this is why it's taking a while. They may also be trying to heal their finances is also what I'm getting. Yeah, we got increase. And as I look down, I say exertion. Somebody is being cautious here. This person is fear. They're fearful of rejection. They're fearful of heartbreak. They're fearful of you saying no. Because someone was stuck. Someone was stuck. 
Someone didn't want to be single. Somebody didn't want to start over again. They may have even stayed in a heartbreaking situation because they were fearful of starting over again. This is someone that values family with the Ten of Coins being here. I don't know why I heard it's cheaper to keep a Ten of, ten of Cups on the fence. Why is this here? I got to get out this energy. Balance. Somebody, I'm hearing lack of patience. This person has a lack of patience for their family. For a marriage, you possibly have a lack of patience for your family, for your marriage. Somebody's child, like an adult child, could have left home again is what, what I'm getting also. Somebody's fearful of losing whatever it is they invested in. They was possibly working hard trying to keep something here. Something that was passed down to them. We got grace, accumulation, inspiration, and self-knowledge on the fence. Somebody wants to ask for forgiveness here. They see that you are inspiring. For some of you, it's family members, but it could be exes. This person is not trusting their intuition. Knight of Wands, why is this here? Clarity. So this person is in thought. These same cards keep coming out. Somebody feels like they can't make it on their own. Somebody wanted you to feel like you couldn't make it on it. It's like somebody wanted you to... Oh, gosh. Somebody wanted you... Oh, my hair wrap is so tight. They wanted to punish you. Possibly because they may have gotten put out of a home. you They may have felt like you held back from them. This is giving me somebody that don't want to leave the nest. They don't want to be financially responsible for themselves. For some of you, you may have even let a family into your home. Like your children's family or something like that. If this is not you, this is this other person. All right, um, yeah, at the bottom we got clarity and wisdom. Okay. I feel like things are starting to make sense to whoever this is. As you're in this energy of contemplation, Empress. Okay. Somebody wanted you to be alone. Someone that you have children with. They were doing things that were underhanded. They were also playing on people's emotions, possibly their family emotions. This is giving me the energy of somebody lying about the person that they have children with or downplaying the person that they have children with only because they can't control them. This is somebody that was spiritually abusive, physically abusive. They were a liar. They may have also said that they weren't attracted to you, but they definitely was. For some of you, this person could be in a marriage. And the person that they are in a marriage with is equally as deceptive as they are. They're only with this person because maybe they feel like they can't get anyone else. This person puts up with this individual's BS, but they're not attracted to this person. Okay. Okay. Awaken, why is this already? Narcissist, disowned narc. So for some of you, this is somebody's child, your child, their child. Um, that was stuck. They're having some financial debt. This is someone that is borderline narcissist, a narcissistic. I'm not a doctor, so I do suggest you seek appropriate guidance in those health issues, mental health, physical health, financial health, okay? Some sort of truth came out about this person from your past here, whether they're childish or this is someone's child, okay? This own narc, somebody was sleep. Like they hadn't awakened yet. They were easily manipulated here. 
They became a financial burden. This person needs to heal. This is someone that will get involved in relationships because they don't have anywhere to go or something like that. Somebody could work at a club or there was some sort of meeting. We got a sheep get sacrificed and the inability to stand and it's a liar. Law of relative truth. Define who you are before someone else does. So there was some sort of meeting or conversation that that came about here about this empress. Now, empress, this could be your child or someone you raised. This could also be a soulmate of a lower vibration, whether you have children with this person or not. Some of you, you may have felt like this person was your twin flame. We got Archangel Seraphim, highest ranking of Seraphim burns away sin. A leader, a celestial being. So somebody called for redemption in this situation or somebody is calling for redemption because they are facing some obstacles here. I'm hearing this is um, divinely orchestrated because somebody has a lot of karmic debt. This person needs to lean on their faith and not on other people. And I don't think they realize that. Somebody does things that they shouldn't be doing for personal gain. And as I split the card, we got the false flame. We'll do spell work on children. For some of you, this person may have done something on your child, a grown child or whatever. This is what you may be reflecting on. Is this the reason why your child started acting the way that they did? Even if that was the case, this person was being called, I'm hearing to repent. Because they are a divine being. So they, your child, has, um, is your, your child is a generational curse breaker for the patriarch is what I'm getting for their father's side of the family. Oh, this is getting heavy, child. So you were, this person was stubborn. They may feel like because you have some sort of status or financial uh, financially stable that you should take care of them. Grace, why is this here? Lack of facts are reality. Unanswered questions hidden. You are not the only one. You're not the only one that this person burden. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. This person may have talents, untapped potential, but they don't want to work here with the bench warmer card. For some of you, this was a hidden enemy because they were asleep. Like they weren't aware of the things that they were doing. They were easily manipulated by the energy that someone was sending to you, Empress. Self-knowledge, why is this here? On the fence. Here we go. Hope after the storm, a bridge, a message. There's water in the flowers, let's grow. Somebody didn't take time to nurture a relationship or they feel like you didn't take time to nurture a relationship, possibly because you were working. I'm here trying to build an empire. I We got not getting your physical or spiritual needs met. Dull, stagnant, inactive, does not feel connected and no spark. <sighs> Karma. Somebody's chakras is off. Somebody can't think clearly. This is someone that blames everyone else's for their downfall. They don't want to take accountability. Inspiration. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you are inspiring. I feel like you tried to inspire this person, especially if they are family. They just didn't want to listen. They wanted to do whatever they wanted to do with this Knight of Wands being here. On the fence like that. Coming soon. So this person has a child coming soon. For some of you, they may already have a child. And this is what I was saying. That somebody gets in relationships because they don't want to take 
they don't want I don't want to say they don't want to take responsibility for themselves. They take the easy way out. Let's just put that, put it that way. So this person, oh my gosh, I heard like their father. Oh, this is heavy. So, oh my gosh. And, and I heard like the mother too. You are enough. They don't feel like they could make it by themselves. Don't let fear make the decision. Yeah. So this is we talking about a heavy burden on someone. They have this energy of jealousy here. They're paying attention to their surroundings. They may have always paid attention to other people's blessings. This is someone that is not thankful of the things that they have because they're too busy paying attention to what other people have. They don't take into account what someone else had to go through to get there. They just look at lack, lack. This would be someone that if they have money, they hold back. So it's like a stuck type of energy. It has to be equal give and take money in, money out. But this is like I said the other day. This is the energy of someone What's mine's is mine's and what's yours is mine's. Is this is the way this person lives their life. They lack fortitude. What did what fell out here? So this is somebody this is someone that'll try to tear down what you built just because is something solid. We got we got Archangel Zavkel, knowledge of God, the thrones. Oh, so for some of you, this person knows that you have a high calling on your life, and this is why this person is an adversary. And for some of you, it's an adult adult child. If it's not your child, it's this person's child. Making false reports, false allegations. Someone is reporting someone's content because they stole their content and they don't want somebody to know what the who the original creator is. And as, if, as you could tell, we got well, you can't because it was out the camera, but we got Gemini in reverse. So this is definitely telling me this is a soulmate soulmate of a lower level here or they were working with one or they are with one. They may be having a child with a soulmate of a, a lower level. So this is why I got the energy of repeating past life karma, like father, like daughter, like mother, like son type of scenario. Seven of coins. And this is what you are reflecting on here. On, on the lies. You may even be thinking about the person that you had a child with and the pressure that your children are under at this time. Who tells your story? So, you know, and it's hard for you, Empress, because this is family. You feel guilty. You feel like it's your fault because of who you chose to have a family with or the things that you participated in in the past. You have to let that go. Nobody is perfect. And because you have this guilt on you, it's, it's slowing you down because you need to release this heartbreak. This is why I've been feeling so heavy, like I can't breathe. Like I'm like <gasps> somebody also could have uh, asthma or bronchitis or they're in an area where it is congested because it doesn't happen until I start to talk on the camera. Somebody's heart may feel heavy. Why is the King of Wands here? Damn, already? These cards keep coming out. Loss of stamina, status, rank, or divine spark. Law of pragmatism, a logical approach to a perceived problem. Social norms, unwritten rules of beliefs, attitudes, behaviors. Something was inaccurate, inaccurate or restrictive in someone's thinking. 
somebody could admire you because you are intellectual or you think before you speak or you think before you do things. This person is releasing this toxic energy. Whether if it's a person or a situation from the past. And I do believe that there was an argument here. This is giving me somebody's parent, whether if it's a female, male, whatever, arguing with somebody that they may have a long-term commitment with. Because we got social norms, titles, and labels. And, man, two of cups, why is this here? Here we go. Clarify the meaning. So somebody lacks faith. Somebody took something out of context. Okay. Something you said or the way they think is not in alignment with who you are. The way they think about you. This person needs to get balanced here. They have some sort of disruptive energy around them. Or you are this disruptive energy. Somebody's in a negative space, a negative portal here. They tried to open up some negative energy in your space, in your mind, or in people's mind about you. This is an adversary. I don't care if you have children with them or not. I don't care if they are your child. I'm sorry to say that. This person, whoever this is, they lie to participate in a lie to cover up a lie, projecting distorted energy. Rumors started by jealous people. Slander. We got don't let the fear make the decision for you. Adventure. Hey, excitement. Hey, a Jedi craze. Not those things. That's a quote by Yoda. Oh, my goodness. What I'm getting is. Empress, you may have been someone that was in the limelight or maybe you like to party a lot. You took a lot of risk here. You yourself accumulated a lot of debt, obviously, because for the Empress to be here, you went through some things. You had to go through divorce, breakup. You had to go through stepping up, taking care of yourself, balancing your emotions. Okay. You had to learn how to use your intuition and you had to speak your truth and stand in your truth. Somebody's inconsistent. Somebody's a pathological liar. This person is turning the tables on you. How they treated you is how they're saying you treated them. This is a narcissist. We're giving false details. This person may have may have said that you are not trustworthy, that you lack faith, that you are unstable, that you are promiscuous. And whatever they said, this deceptive energy, this betrayal, this lie, okay, is not aligning with who this empress is. King of Cups, why is this here? Happy life, happy wife wanted to come out. Yeah, bully son. So this is somebody that was bullying you. Micromanaging, nitpicking, critiquing you because they lack goals. They make bad investments. They have distorted energy. And for some of you, this King of Cups in reverse that was lying... They are not in touch with their emotions. They have hidden tendencies here. Their energy is distorted. They may even be jealous of you. Okay, this is giving me narcissism. This is somebody that'll sleep with anybody. They don't have no preference because they, they don't have their own identity. They take on the identity of everyone else. This is why it's on top of the Seven of Pentacles. They take little bits and pieces of everybody that they try to destroy. So 
So the things that they did to you, they're saying that you did to them. If this person said that you were dependent on them financially, people are saying that that is not true. And they don't like it. So if you are a content creator, or if they know the content creator, you, especially if this is a, a tarot reader, oh man, they're, they're flagging this person's content and everything else. This person may be on their way to prison. They're already in spiritual prison. Plot twist. Yeah, because this person is disconnected from reality here. They... they they make bad investments. This person may have said that you do, that you didn't want to work. You may have let this person in your home. They were burdened here. For some of you, this person, you didn't realize that this person was a narcissist. Several people in your environment were narcissists. This person could have met someone at the club here. This club goer or this person that is promiscuous could be an escort or something like that. They did something. Yeah, they did something here because the, 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 the sin card wouldn't come out unless they did. We got what's in this cup. What is this information that this person presented to someone? Because this king of cups, what is this information? Is it true? Is it lie? Why was why did this person? Pick you. They thought that they could tamper with your energy or manipulate you for something. For some reason, they felt like you were easy prey. If you didn't have something that was valuable to this person, they wouldn't be so fixated on you. This King of Cups in reverse. This person that has hidden tendencies, that makes bad investments. This is someone that does not set goals unless it is to disrupt someone else's energy. They're very deceptive with the Five of Swords. Five of Swords, because I got to go. Mm -mm. Boundaries. For some of you, this person may have... You may have a child with this person. Okay. Or the person that they have a child with is a part of some sort of lie, some false flagging, some manipulation, some bullying. Somebody is in this energy of wishing they could take it back, but they can't. Some sort of text, some sort of email, some sort of communication, hate speech or whatever. Because there's, there's, there's evidence here. Somebody conquered a demon. All right. Anything else before I go? Come on, man. And the warning card come out. And my low energy, low battery came out. Uh-uh. I got to Warning. Why is this here? Don't let fear make the decision. Yeah. This is an older man. Could be a woman involved too. Why is warning here? I look down and say three three two eight. This is about investments. Killer asteroid. So somebody's about to get a walk in spirit. Somebody may be having some sort of health scare. Somebody okay. Somebody don't realize who they are sticking up for. You're gonna end up in court. Call defendants. Anything else? Somebody about to get a walk in spirit. Somebody set something to fire. Some evidence. Uh, they put a target on someone back because they were powerful here. Yeah, they're going to end up in court. Okay. Yeah. What's at the bottom? And homeless deuces.